Hello everyone, this is Josh Vision, and I'm here to give you my top three takeaways from the latest Vikings Season 6 trailer. Number one, it seems as though we're not going to be really dealing with England or Alfred for at least the first half of Season 6. We didn't get any little quick scenes or snippets in the trailer about Alfred and England. It was like completely non-existent. So I guess we can expect at least once again for the first half of season six to be totally Viking versus Viking, the Roos Vikings versus you know the you know the Nor the Norwegian Vikings, you know the people of Kattegat and their allies. So yeah, number two, it seems as though when it comes to Ivar and Bjorn, there might be some type of truce made between them because in the trailer we see that this Roos Viking prince is a very very big deal and threat. King Harold is afraid of this guy because in the trailer we hear King Harold say to Bjorn, I know your reputation. I've seen you in action. I've seen the battles you've won. I've seen the battles you lost. I know your fighting prowess. But this this enemy and this and this guy leading this new enemy is on a completely different scale than we have ever fought before. And you have it's just crazy like 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 the battles that we got little snippets of what we can expect is going to be so epic. But in regards to that, think about it with Ivar. Ivar is basically in a position of being powerless now. Ivar no longer has control. He's no longer the king. He has to take orders. This guy literally told Ivar, like I said before yesterday, if you betray me, I will feed you to the dogs. I'm the one running this operation. You're here for strategy, but don't get it twisted. I'm the leader. I want to be the king of kings of Norway. You know what I mean? Which connects to my third major takeaway. The fact that King Olaf and what it seems to be some of the other lords, I mean, I mean other kings of Norway, they want to nominate Bjorn to basically be the king of all Norway. And if we remember from, I believe, season four, around episode six or seven, whenever King Harold debuted, he mentioned that he wanted to be the king of all Norway when he made his debut over in the halls of Kattegat while he was playing a game with Ube and drinking with um, Queen Aslog. This was also the episode, I believe, when Bjorn killed the bear and him and Tormi, Tormi, him and Torvi came back to Kattegat and Ragnar was sober for once after having at least six months of him and Yidu taking every drug imaginable during that time. So, yeah, it's been at least two or three seasons worth of that whole mention of, you know, the king of all Norway. So, you know, it's just, I'm looking forward to this, you guys, really. This is like the final season. And I'm still trying to figure out what is Ivar's angle. Because I highly doubt that Ivar... Let's say he did humble himself to a certain certain degree about him admitting he overdid things as the ruler of Kattegat. I highly doubt he's going to have a subservient role to Bjorn, who he feels that he's better than in terms of being a leader, which in many cases is true, yet in many other cases it's wrong. And the same thing with Bjorn, because Bjorn looks at it like this. He's the eldest brother. He's the one that's been through more battles, and he feels like oh, he's the rival heir to Ragnar. You know, especially since he followed Ragnar and all this stuff, and, and blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying? So, the question is, literally, when they take this dude down, because I have no question they're going to take this guy down, what's the aftermath? Is this going to be Ivar and Bjorn basically resuming their little, their little rivalry and let the best man win? Or is one of them going to literally die because I think it's a good possibility that one of them is actually going to die in the process of taking that Viking Roots Prince down and I think whoever dies like you know let's say it's Ivar it, Bjorn's just going to resume his you know his position as the king of all Norway but if Bjorn dies Ivar is going to be the one who's going to be the king of all Norway so season six, the stakes are really high and there's so many possibilities of how things can go. And that's not including the whole thing with this storyline, you know, and his internal struggles. We already know about Ube and his, and his travels to Greenland 
and him trying to gain even more fame than he already has and trying to find Floki. Like the possibilities, once again, is endless. What do you guys think? Write your comments uh, down below. What was y'all's major takeaway from the latest Viking season six trailer? Thank you guys for watching. Adios.